What up, y'all? Um, <clears throat> had something on my mind this morning. I was doing my cardio, and I thought I'd share it with y'all. So, I get it. I understand that when you're considering uh, life-changing stuff, like considering getting a coach or even joining a gym or whatever kind of change you're, you're contemplating in your life, right? But specifically with coaching, probably asking yourself, well, why would I hire a coach when I can do this stuff myself? Why would I spend money on a coach when I could do these things myself? And there are a few different things that I'd want to say to that. Um, some of them would be, well, first, it is entirely realistic and possible that you could manifest these changes on your own. And in fact, when doing the work, the real fundamental changes come from going inside and doing the work by yourself. These are things you're going to have to navigate on your own. However, I've used coaches. I've used bodybuilding coaches. Uh, and when I participate in recovery support groups like AA, uh, a sponsor is a form of a coach. Um, I've used fitness coaches, even though I've got 15, 20 years of experience in fitness and building my body and nutrition. What I'm trying to illustrate here is, you know that saying that two sets of eyes are better than one? That's That, that kind of loosely applies here, right? Well, not loosely, it applies here. Um, what you're not doing is making someone else rich. I know that sometimes these are the kinds of thoughts, it's kind of intrusive thoughts. These are things that can kind of creep in and cause us to hesitate. Um, I would I would posit that some of that uh, hesitation doesn't stem from us not seeing a value in the wisdom experience or the services that any certain coach might provide. That hesitancy comes from us not seeing in ourselves the ability to commit and it is difficult to be vulnerable and vocalize and enter into agreement with someone like a coach who's one of their main functions is to hold us accountable and have the ultimate fear and real it's not just a perceived illusion right we have this fear based on maybe we've tried other things before and we struggle to follow through that we won't be able to hold up our end of the bargain and this will be money not well spent i get it 100 percent. i get it one thing in closing that i will leave with this even if you're still on the fence about coaching or whatever the case may be. Start with this. Pick one thing in your life that you do not worry that you will not be able to commit to wholeheartedly and 100% of the time and be unwavering about that commitment. Non-negotiable commitment, just one thing. Do that for 30 days and we'll talk again. MajiOnline.com, Maji on YouTube. Email me at mentor at majionline.com. Talk to y'all soon. Peace, y'all.